Hey guys, I'm here with one more project to share today and the sun has decided to come out out of nowhere so it's kind of casting a shadow. I apologize. Oh, excuse me. This is an altered box that I made for P. And um, she had made me a balsa box and sent it to me. And when I got done with this, I realized these are so similar. It's ridiculous. So I guess this was completely inspired by P subconsciously. Um, but that's an honor to do anything that mimics her work. She's amazing. But um, yeah, this is for her. And I used a paper mache box that I had got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I did a lot of mixed media on here. I try to use like metal and stuff like these. You'll see all the way around the bottom of it, these metal sheets. And what I did is I cut them into the middle size size. I can't, middle part size, y'all. Whatever I'm trying to say. And I embossed them, went over it with gesso and glimmer mist and then hit it with my um, sandpaper to take away the gesso on the raised part so the metal would still show through. So that's all the way around these metal pieces. I wanted this paper to look like it was burnt, so I just um, used a stress stain on the edges of it. Um, ripped them up really good. So that's all the way around. Let me zoom out a little bit so I can hold this closer without moving. Um, the feet, I had some bling pieces that I just cut in half with my um, table saw, band saw, whatever Chris put in my room. Sanded them down to make feet out of them. I really like how that looks. This is the Cynthia Luhu mesh bling going all the way around. Here's a Tim Holtz plaquette with some bling pieces. Um, like I said, script paper from Michaels. This is that embroidery lace that I got um, with some thin Rena Baling going all the way around it. And if you look under the lace, it's really textured and mixed media, um, sprayed and inked up and everything, but the lace kind of covers it up. But anyway, here's the top of it. And I used for the texture, it's called caulking. I'm sure all y'all know what that is. It's used in like home improvements and tile work and stuff. But, um, and we get to listen to the lovely ambulance, y'all. I'll be right back so you don't have to hear that. Okay, I'll apologize. One of the downfalls of filming outside I'm finding is the noise. And it's Memorial Day weekend here in Panama City. And we live pretty close to the busy part of town. So it's just a lot going on. I can hear like over the intercom, maybe y'all are picking up in the background, you know, over there, like stuff they're doing on the beach. So it's just really, really loud right now. Um, so I'm staying home this weekend. But uh, anyway, like I said, this is caulking. And I've used it on a couple of projects lately. And it just adds a ton, a ton, a ton of texture. And I really like it. Um, I just used a credit card to spread it all around. There's the script paper there too. And like I said, I wanted this paper to look burnt. I think I actually did burn this with my heat gun. And then up here, I burned a hole in it with my heat gun too. And then I just used distress stain on all the edges. Um, yeah, I just glimmer misted up the caulking to kind of add some dimension and some character to it. Um, up here is a big curly rose that I dipped in my color shot. I've got some lace coming out there and then over here as well. And then I've got a bling piece right there poking out. I've got one of the two-toned small curly roses there, the pink and white two-tone. I absolutely love these. They're so, so pretty. And I put that there. Over here, I made a little niche. I put the, I don't know if you can see, but that's the top of a Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz film strip ribbon canister right there because I wanted to be able to look down in my little niche that I was going to make. So I put a little clock piece down in there, and this is just a piece of hardware I had in my stash i don't know where it came from but um and then i put the ornate plate on top so i made like a little metal niche down there and there's a good bit of space down in there so i really like how that came out um i just put a lot of flowers around it there's some metal washers and bolts you'll see sporadically in here kind of set them down into the caulking and let them dry i've got some spray pieces coming out and some crystal pieces here's a little butterfly from the primer printery collection one of the circle pieces and these are all iron roses flowers i do believe maybe a prima cabbage rose back there but the rest yeah and everything's been glimmer misted with my um creme brulee cream lindy stamp gang it's my favorite glimmer mist in the world but yeah just put these flowers all the way around it another one of the really pretty pink and white two-toned and then up here i just have some crystal pieces coming out some more curly stuff from the recollection spray another crystal piece and then Another piece of the spray, and this is one of the Prima roses again that um, he had sent me. So, pretty simple, but I really like how it came out. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, she's not a huge pink fan, so I told her I was like, I had to throw some pink in there anyway. But um, I hope she likes it, and I hope you guys do too. And there'll probably be pictures at the beginning or end of the video. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.